Hey there. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Good day, good day, good day. How are you? It's the Magic Brad Show. Here we go. This is the morning show. Um, folks, ladies and gentlemen, boys and berries, here I am at the Magic Lounge. The Magic Lounge. No, I'm actually at my home office here. Um, I'm doing this video about a program called Sales Vision. And the reason I know about Sales Vision is because it was created by Vincent Ortega Jr. And I've known Vincent Ortega Jr. for quite a while. Um, and I brought this up because to me, the internet is a is it's like uncharted territory. You don't know who's out there. It's always changing. It's like it can be scary sometimes. You don't know who you're really talking to. You don't know if uh, like someone's Facebook profile got hacked and they're sending you a message. Hi, I'm stuck down here in Jamaica. I wonder if you could send me $500 so I can get home. I'm, I got ripped off. And it's not really the person you think you're talking to. There's a lot of that stuff out there, stuff that you can't really trust on the Internet. So I'm bringing it back to how I got first involved with Vincent Ortega Jr. And the reason was he showed his face on the Internet. He did a lot of video. He showed me his children. He showed me his mother. He showed me his father. He showed me his house. He was open and transparent, and it got me to trust him. So I got involved with a program that he had back then. It was called My Blog Is At. I have no idea how he came up with that name, but it was a blogging platform. And what I liked about it is you could create your own brand on it and then the blogging. So you could create your own passion, whatever it was, and then you could blog about it. And this was back in the days when blogs were. You know, you could actually get ranked and get noticed. Now there's so many blogs, it's 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 hard to get uh, get to the top of the the chain there. But um, he then created a thing called the Internet Lifestyle Network, and that's uh, that was pretty much his big bigger thing. But uh, my point again being is, I got to know Vincent because of the internet, and we never really even talked. We messaged back and forth, and we did online communication. But I felt like I knew him. And then eventually I went to an event where he was actually there. And I did buy into a couple of his different programs. Um, um, this was back uh, with Mark Hoverson, the uh, Global Resorts Network. We were selling um, vacation stays. And um, there were some other things with Internet Lifestyle Network with the blogging platform. And there was a lot of other online education. But the... Oh, I got a comment. Let me check this out, see where the comment is. Who is it? It's Stefan. A lot of trans... Yes, it's important to be transparent, Stefan. It's uh, especially these days of the internet. I see a lot of people with the dark glasses, you know, and they're hiding behind their screen name. And uh, you cannot do business online these days because it's really hard to tell. I mean, a lot of people think that they might be talking to a friend, but it's very possible that someone has impersonated them and you don't know if they're really them or not. So it's a, the internet is a, is a strange place. So I think transparency is the way to go. And I like to get online with people and have an actual conversation, especially in these days of COVID and all that. You can't have coffee meetings anymore, but you can still get on the internet with Zoom and with platforms like StreamYard and, and even, even FaceTime and stuff like that. You can get to know people live and in person. So back to Vincent Ortega Jr., he's now got this platform called Sales Vision, which is an interesting way of doing this. Um, people, some people look at these things and right away their, their brain goes to multi-level marketing, pyramid scams. Sales Vision is basically, I think it's a two-tier affiliate program. And the reason he set it up as a two-tier affiliate program is when you get someone involved with the program, you can work with them and start earning partial commissions from their efforts. So you help them and you can get that residual recurring sort of passive income from helping other people. Um, but a lot of the programs these days online are um, just straight up affiliate programs. And uh, for those of you that don't know, what an affiliate program is, is basically it's, uh, it's the middleman because what happened with the internet is it kind of kicked the middleman out of the, the place and made it uh, available for a consumer to go right to manufacturer and get things. So it's kind of broomed the middleman. 
And then what happened was Amazon stepped in and Amazon's like an affiliate marketer. They're a big giant marketplace of uh, merchants that have products and consumers that want to buy products and they make the, the connection. So that's kind of what affiliate marketing is. And sales vision, what Vincent is doing, he's quite a visionary. He's uh, pulling in all the different uh, like merchant programs, creating a marketplace where he can sell like apparel or whatever. And he's, he's helps people with the concept of marketing. Now, to me, marketing is pretty basic. It's about creating a relationship. And that's why I like doing the video like this. It's about creating an authentic, sincere, genuine, trusted relationship. And, but he's got a platform that he built out with it that has uh, a few different levels where you can come in. And what I also like about the way that he's creating this stuff is it starts at just seven bucks. I take that back. It actually starts free. You can just get involved with the with a free uh, creating a free account, and then when you get into it, it's got different tiers, which makes sense. You know, you got your beginner, your intermediate, and your advanced. So you don't necessarily need to go all in on something and invest a lot of money into it, especially if you don't know what it is. You can get started with either free or seven bucks and just kind of test the waters. And it's safer that way, in my opinion. So that's his thing called Sales Vision. Um, I'm, I'm involved with it, but I'm not heavily involved with it yet because, like I said, I, I like to feel things out and see how they're going. And uh, like I said before, Vincent had this thing called the Internet Lifestyle Network, and there was some other things. There were some app programs that some people were promoting, and there's this thing called Ripplin that sounded real cool, but it, it kind of just fizzled out. It grew rapid. It grew really, really fast. And then it kind of fizzled out. Um, uh, Global Resorts Network with Mark Hoverson, who since passed, he was a really nice guy and also did a lot of uh, visual uh, stuff, videos, and you got to get to know people. But through that, I got to meet Michelle Pesca Salito and I got to meet Rhonda and Brian Swan, the impossible or the not impossible, unstoppable family. They're still they're over in Bali, one of my favorite places on the planet. And uh, who else did I meet there? I met uh, Brenda Gagne. I met uh, Eddie. Uh, um, I forgot his last name. Eddie. I forgot Eddie's last name. Hispanic last name. I can't remember. <laughs> Anyways, it'll come back to me. But you end up meeting a lot of people when you go to these events. And that was that's that's kind of cool. So I've been going now for about almost eight minutes. I'm going to do this to about nine, ten minutes. And the reason I'm doing that is because the coach that I'm working with, Michael Mansell, suggested that your video should be at least nine minutes long for YouTube to appreciate them and give you some ranking. So if you want to go to my YouTube channel, you can just uh, you can probably just Google the keyword magic Brad as one word and then the word YouTube and you'll find one of my YouTube videos. That's the way I like doing it these ways, these days. And by the way, if you need to contact me, you can do so right here, contactmagicbrad.com. There's a way for my, my phone number you can contact me. You can also private message me on Facebook because Facebook is a huge platform and that's why I use that as a contact point. That's why I'm broadcasting this on Facebook. I've also broadcast it on Periscope, which connects to Twitter. And I've got a little syndicated network of all these different platforms. So, by the way, if anybody's interested in coming on my video program, the video program I started, it used to be called Synergy Cafe, but I changed it and rebranded it. It's now called The Magic Brad Show. In fact, I can probably show you uh, an image of it that looks like that themagicbradshow.com. And um, what I do is I interview entrepreneurs and uh, affiliate marketers and things like that. And then we collaborate and work together to get traffic to our offers. To uh, I'm going to close this off here one second. Get back to my name, magicbrad.com. So I like this platform I'm using here. It's called StreamYard. It works really good for this kind of thing. Um, uh, if you want to use it, it's a it's a free platform, and if you want to get a discount from it, you can contact me, and I'll give you my affiliate link for that StreamYard platform because then I get a credit. It's not a money making thing, but it does have the ability to get discounts if you want to use StreamYard, and or and then I get a credit, which is appreciated because then it doesn't cost me so much money. So it's a way of saving some money. 
So, Mike Wilkie, you're late. Do you have a note? <laughs> Stock line, I know, but for those that don't know, Mike Wilkie is my friend. He's a cartoonist and magician, and he does magic, uh, does it for a, a magician's publication. He does cartoons that are magic-themed. Pretty fun. So, where was I? We're up to 10 minutes, so we've reached that nine-minute point. So I'm going to sort of beam this thing off and transition into... Uh, if you want to work with me on some of these affiliate marketing programs, I'm just kind of putting it out there that I think that the concept of affiliate marketing, I believe that it's going to surge, uh, especially with this COVID thing where people lost their jobs. Business and merchandising and the mercantile still needs to go. We still need to have an economy flowing. And uh, what's happening is these companies that can no longer have a brick and mortar store because it's so expensive to pay for workman's compensation and rent and, and insurance and all these things. A lot of them are moving off of the uh, online or the, the storefront brick and mortar and they're taking on a more of an online presence and they still need somebody to help promote their product and service. So they're doing that through paid advertising on Facebook and Google and things like that. However, some of the big brands like even coca-cola are moving away from places like facebook because of all the controversy that's going on with the uh with all the uh negativity with the racial thing and the, the covid thing wear a mask don't wear a mask the political thing there's all this stuff going on so some of these big brands are saying you know what we don't want to be associated with all this craziness so they're pulling themselves off of facebook and i heard that they are moving into an affiliate marketing model. So they're going to be looking for affiliate marketers to promote their product and service, which is the new middleman. And I believe it's going to be people like you and me because it's, it's not that complicated. It can get complicated, but it's as simple as having a tracking link to, to prove that you were the one that made that introduction about that product or service. And then you'll get compensated with that. And this can go everything from selling people's books where you make a buck or two, all the way up to selling, uh, I saw a affiliate program for private jet, le jet leasing, people that rent private jets. You can get a commission off that, which is considerably more sizable. So I believe that the, the world is shifting into an affiliate marketing world. And I just wanted uh, to let you know that uh, it's available. If you want to learn more about it, connect with me. You just go to contactmagicbrad.com. And also, again, salesvision.com. I'm doing this because I want to get some uh, traction on YouTube and I'm being op open and transparent. What I'm doing is trying to get information from people that are looking for salesvision.com and come to me and talk about it. And it's possible that we'll either join it together or I've got something else that you might be interested in. But it frustrates me to see some of these people on YouTube and they do these bait and switchy kind of things where it looks like they're going to be disingenuous. I will talk about crypto. <laughs> it looks like they're going to be disingenuous about a program, you know, like revealed or exposed and all this, this hypey stuff. And it's a bait and switch where they're really trying to get you into the program. I'm being open and transparent with you, saying that I do want to get you into the program. If not that, maybe something else. I want to work with you, collaborate with you. It's about teamwork. It's no longer about competition and conquering. It's about collaborating and cooperating. That's just the way of the world. Now, my thing on crypto, I'm not sure. I don't quite understand it, but I do believe there's going to be a new monetary system that's coming, and it's coming fast, and this, this uh, COVID thing is accelerating it a little bit. Um, I, there's, a, there's a lot of knockoff uh, Me Too duplicated cryptos there's the, the the early one was bitcoin but now there's getting to be all these other cryptos and there may end up being all sorts of these other cryptos it's crypto to me is just a uh, coded you know cryptic method of exchanging money back and forth and it's really no different than a starbucks coffee card you buy a 20 dollars starbucks coffee card you can't use it at your local walmart you have to use it at a starbucks store so what it's done is it's capsulated that money into Starbucks money. So that's kind of a cryptocurrency. I don't know how crypto it is, but 
So the, the, the overlying thing from what I understand is blockchain, which is the technology that enables the uh, encoding of this data to be able to switch it over to someone else and uncode it so they can have the money. But I do believe that crypto is going to be a different kind of currency. I don't know that I would put my money into Ethereum or Bitcoin or all these other things. I don't know where it's all going. So I'm kind of just on the on the fence. I don't I don't take those kind of risks. I don't try and be the first in. Um, I don't know that that's always the, the right thing to do. Right one, he says. What about right one? That's the right one? I don't know what the right one is. <laughs> Stefan. Um, so I don't go into it. The way I look at it is if it's if it's good, it'll have some longevity to it, and I can get into it later. I'm not one of these kind of get in on the front, uh, on the bottom bottom floor of an opportunity. I just don't believe in that because it can go up and it can fall down just as fast. I like something that's secure and has some longevity. That's why I, I am invested in REITs, which is real estate investment trusts. And I think that real estate is going to be wrong for a long time. It does have its situations like in 2008 when it had that little bubble burst thing. But we're always going to need a roof over our head for security. So I think real estate will be around for a long time. Real estate is malls, shopping malls, strip malls, commercial, residential, storage lockers, vacation homes, hotel properties. Anything that has a roof over it is basically real estate and maybe even then some. So, oh, Stefan says you should have a little. I don't have any right now. I don't know. I might buy one. <laughs> I don't know. I'm still waiting to see where it's going to go, but I do believe that something's going to happen. I don't know that I want to buy into what the big banks are holding on to for their cryptocurrency. Um, so I don't know. That's a whole other topic. If you want to come on my video show, I'd love to have a conversation with you about it. Um, I don't have arguments or debates or anything like that. I just have neutral conversations about whatever the topic is. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and berries, I'm going to sign this one off. And I'm going to give myself another uh, plug. The Magic Brad Show. Ta-da! Thank you very much. Peace, love, and happiness. This is Magic Brad signing off. Enjoy the rest of your day. Be well. Be safe. Be nice. Be kind. Peace.